Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve the case study question that had appeared in the past university question paper of April 2025 under the subject Investment Analysis and Portfolio Management, also known as IPM. Again, a very important video for all the TYBMS SEM5 students. So in this video, we are going to basically discuss the case study question, okay, how you need to answer a particular format based. Okay, you just need to learn that format and according to that you can answer uh, the case study question. So chalo, let us see what question had appeared in April 25 paper and how to solve them in the most appropriate manner. Okay, uh, in question number 5 it was given that advocate Fali Nariman, age 62, is a practicing advocate. Uh, he is having 50 lakhs rupees investable fund. Advise him for investment avenues available to him which will give him a suitable return with maximum return. Okay, and explain the advantages and disadvantages by investing in those specific avenues. So whenever you get a case study, divide the case study in four parts. Number one, characteristic of the invest. So here we talk about what the question is all about. So I've written here uh, the name uh, Fali Nariman. So age 62 years, senior citizen. Profession, whatever he's pro, uh, is, whatever detail about his profession has been given. So practicing advocate, investable fund 50 lakhs, and risk appetite they want low. Okay, so prefer safety and steady income. So they want suitable return with maximum return. Okay, so the risk appetite is very low. So they don't want too much of risk. So according to that, then we need to fix the avenues. That is, uh, you know, part one where you note down the characteristic of investor. Second is objective of investor. Now, what are the objectives? Now, this can be similar. Okay, first only just note down what they want. Okay, suitable return. So, regular and stable income, capital protection, liquidity, tax benefit, and provision for old age and retirement security. So, this second, third, and fourth point can be used for any case study. Okay, because they are same for all. So, step number one may you note down the characteristics. Step, step number two may the objective. Third, may you make a chart stating that 50 lakh how it will be divided into which which avenues. So you have made a, a this can be again based on your interpretation. Okay, you all can use any values. Just see that total comes to 50 lakhs. So investment avenues may fixed deposit I put 10 lakhs, which is 20 percent bond debenture 10 lakhs, mutual fund 12 lakhs, senior citizen scheme 8 uh, 8 lakhs, life insurance or pension plan. 5 lakh and provident uh, PPF we have another 5 lakh. Okay, now PPF remember PPF per year you can only put 1 lakh 50,000. Okay, but since he has 50 lakh, so we have removed 5 lakh fund for PPF. Okay, so every year he can put accordingly till that 5 lakhs get eroded. Okay. So, so this is step one characteristics, step two objective and step three investment avenues. Again, this amount can be fluctuated. You all can put it anyhow in that 50 lakhs ka budget. Mein. Okay? So these are the first three steps. You can go through the first three steps first. Okay, now step number four was now they had asked us to find the advantage and disadvantages. Uh, so now when in, in, in any case, may whenever you give the investment avenue, after that you'll have to explain each investment avenue with one or two line explanation and one or two merits and demerits. Okay, so fixed deposit, bond, mutual fund, senior citizen, saving scheme, life insurance, public provident fund. Of each, we'll have to give them a small meaning and one or two merits and demerits. So let us start one by one. First. Fixed deposit, we said 10 lakhs rupees. So since the investor is a senior citizen, fixed deposit and bank will offer higher interest rate to around 7 to 7.5%. So merits, safe and secure, stable and regular interest rate income. Demerits, no capital appreciation, interest is taxable. Second one was bond and debenture, we put 10 lakhs. So he can invest in government or AAA rated corporate bond to ensure safety with decent return. Merits, regular and fixed income, lower risk compared to equities. Demerits, no capital appreciation and limited liquidity in secondary market. 
okay then mutual fund 12 lakhs investment can be divided into debt oriented and balance of hybrid so accordingly you can put the amount merits professional management diversification liquidity and flexibility demerits are subject to market risk and no guarantee return senior citizen uh, savings scheme may 8 lakhs so government bank scheme get up 8.2% annually merits high safety and assured return quarterly interest payment ensure regular income eligible for deduction under atc also and demerits are locked in period of 5 years and premature withdrawal attracts penalty uh, life insurance or pension 5 lakhs so he can invest in an annuity or retirement plan providing life cover and post retirement income uh, merits provide financial security and protection to dependents and tax benefit is under atc demerits may low liquidity return are comparatively lower then we have public provident fund 5 lakhs uh, they provide long term saving and safety and tax advantage merits safe government back investment interest is uh, tax free investment qualifies for atc useful as retirement corpus so these are all the six avenues that we had taken up and the meaning and one or two demerits merits and demerits of all okay so these were like this even covers the second question explain the advantage and disadvantage of investing in spe uh, specific avenues okay so you can go through it once okay now the last part so see step number 1 investors characteristics second objective third avenues explain the avenues and last step we give uh, the way there were some demerits of uh, i forgot provident fund it is a, has a 15 year lock in period and partial withdrawal only after 5 years okay now step number 4 we just give them a consolidation of the entire case so conclusion uh, the you know you can either the suitable portfolio of advocate fali nariman age 62 ensure safety regular income and tax benefit with limited exposure to market risk and we give them a final table so fixed deposit 10 lakhs 20% bond 10 lakh 20% mutual fund 12 lakh 24% senior citizens scheme 8 lakh 16% uh, life insurance 15 uh, 10% and ppf 5 lakh 10% the total will come to uh, 100% actually this this 100% has to come in this column and this 50 lakh has to come here okay so this is how you all had to solve this particular case study you can go through the last part okay so chalo i hope everyone have understood how to solve this particular case study stay tuned for other case studies also so with that we'll be ending this video here thank you